The Supreme Court has extended a temporary freeze on Texas's Senate Bill 4, which would have taken effect on Wednesday. And this has a, brought a lot of mixed reactions from local leaders, migrant advocates, and Senate Bill 4 supporters. ABC 7's Ediberto Perez joins us live from the border wall with that story. Ediberto. Good evening, Paul. Brianna, Senate Bill 4 will remain paused through Monday. This helps, El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego told me this helps the community and it gives the county more time to prepare if it eventually goes into law. We need immigration. We need legal immigration. And that's where it stops. If we need to increase the flow of people we come into the country, fine. But let's do it legally, not illegally. Adolfo Tellez is the chairman of the Republican Party in El Paso County. He also told me the lack of support from the federal government and the Biden administration is making states like Texas try to fend for themselves. Tellez denies that Senate Bill 4 is profiling anyone because Tellez says undocumented people should not harm people of the U.S. El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego also has his concerns on this Texas immigration law. The extension that really helps us because it gives us an opportunity to continue to let people know, let the community and other government officials know that SB4 would be destructive to our community. Judge Samaniego also told me Senate Bill 4 will put more people at the county jails. This will take away the $25 million revenue the county currently gets per year. Uh, and, and it's more than $25 million. If you If the full extension of SB4, it's way over that. It's almost at the point that we would have to build jails. I mean, federals, they could take them somewhere else, but we can't take people out of El Paso and put them in other jails, you know. For County Judge Samaniego, the impact could be huge for the community's quality of life as well. And guys, El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego also told me Senate Bill 4 is a very expensive way to attack immigration because it will eventually impact El Paso. He also said it could also create conflict here because some local law enforcement do not agree with this law and its procedures. Reporting live from the U.S.-Mexico border, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Thank you, Heriberto.